Hey everybody, welcome back to WooCommerce University. I'm Paul Hickey with Data Driven Design. Right now I'm gonna show you how to set up a Stripe account and get Stripe as the payment gateway so that you can collect money via credit card payments from your clients on your WooCommerce site. So the site example that we're gonna use here is At Home Senior Fitness. It's a site that I built for a client of mine who basically just sells classes online private sessions and group classes and so what we're going to do is go in and you can see in the back end of his wordpress woocommerce site stripe is almost ready to get started set your stripe account keys now the reason it says this is because we've already installed obviously woocommerce and we've also installed uh the WooCommerce Stripe Gateway. And so when we have the WooCommerce Stripe Gateway installed and activated, it'll say Stripe is almost ready to get started. Set your Stripe account keys. Now you can click that, but the traditional way to get to setting your payment gateway in WooCommerce is to go to WooCommerce Settings and then Payments. But as you can see, it just takes you directly here. Now when you check the Enable Stripe box, it will put Stripe in as your primary payment gateway to allow your customers to check out with their credit card. Now, once you enable the Stripe payment gateway, it's going to have these live publishable and live secret keys. You can check to enable test mode. As you can see, the setup or link an existing Stripe account is grayed out. So what we need to do is obviously create a Stripe account. But first, in order to have a Stripe account, you have to have an email account. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through the process of actually creating an email account, and I always use Gmail. So I'm gonna go to gmail.com and click Create Account. And I'm just gonna say, for myself. So I'm gonna call this at home senior fitness. Obviously make sure that the username is available, but it really doesn't matter. Now to create your Google account, uh, you don't need to put a phone number. You don't need to have a recovery email address, but you do need to put in some kind of a birthday and a gender, I'm gonna put rather not say. Agree to the terms, and you're into your Gmail account already, so it's just that easy. Now, you're gonna go to stripe.com and you can click start now and it'll take you to dashboard.stripe.com and register. So now you can put in your email, click create account, and it takes you right into your dashboard. It's that easy. In your Gmail, you're gonna have to go back over into your Gmail and verify the email address. <clears throat> so you can see how easy it is to get a Gmail account and a Stripe account set up. And now that you have your account verified, all you need to do is click get your API keys. And you've got your test API keys and your live API keys. Now you have to activate your account to get the live API keys. We're gonna take the test publishable key, click it to copy it, go back over, enable test mode in our WooCommerce site, Paste in the test key, go back, reveal test secret key, click to copy it, go back over into WooCommerce, paste it in. Now we need a test webhook secret. Get your webhook signing secret from the webhook section in your Stripe account. So go back over into your Stripe account and the webhooks should probably be under developers. Developers and then webhooks on the left. Now you need to add an endpoint so that you can have a webhook. So our endpoint URL is gonna be the URL that's in our WooCommerce site right here. At which in the test site, sorry, which in the development URL, we have not pushed this live to production yet, it will end up being the same site, but it'll have a production URL of at home senior fitness.net. But as we are testing WooCommerce, we're gonna use the 
this webhook URL, copy this, go back over into Stripe and put this in as our webhook endpoint for for the webhook that we're going to use for Stripe test mode. Now, now when this goes into production, this process will be the exact same. So what I'm showing you right now is going to be the exact same thing that you will do after you launch your website live to your production URL, your live URL, you're going to come back in and redo this exact same thing. And what we're going to do is select all events right here. We click receive all events and then it's just going to put all of them in there. So that saves us time. We'll click add endpoint. And now we have created a test webhook and it's in our Stripe account. So we're good to go on that. And we need to go back over and get the webhook secret, webhook signing secret. So we're going to click to reveal our signing secret. Double click it, copy it. Go back over into our WooCommerce and paste it in. And we're going to save changes. Now again, this will be the exact same process. We will repeat this process after we push it to the production URL. We'll just simply uh, disable test mode and repeat this process. So now we've connected it to our Stripe account. Settings have been saved. We can go back in and we can send a test webhook. And it says test webhook was sent successfully. So we're good to go. Now the next thing we absolutely have to do though is if you hover over viewing test data, it says please activate your account to access live data. So as the business owner, or if you're working on this for a client, you will need to either fill this out yourself or give your client the access to the Stripe account that you set up so that they can activate their account. So the information in addition to the business address is going to be business details, fulfillment details, bank details, a two-step authentication that they're going to need to set up with their mobile phone or authenticator app, and then they'll be able to activate their account. So after that's done, you as the web developer will be able to put it right into live mode even on the development URL and begin accepting live payments. In the meantime, in test mode, if you have any products that you want to add to the cart, you can type in a dummy credit card number and simulate checkout in your WooCommerce site. Thanks so much for taking WooCommerce University. I'm excited to have you continue on with the course.